All right, religion in the Ozarks. Now, we're going to, uh, part of this will be a uh, history. Uh, of course, a lot of what we've talked about this semester has been grounded in history of some sort going back before the Civil War, so we'll do a little bit of that. And then we'll talk about uh, the current religious patterns in the Ozarks a bit as well. And we'll start off with the history part of this because that's what kind of sets the stage for religion in the Ozarks. And if you're from the Ozarks or you've spent much time driving around the Ozarks, if you've taken your Ozark road trip yet, uh, it's one of the reasons I ask students to, to pay attention to things like churches, the kinds of churches you see out in the rural Ozarks. Uh, they can differ from place to place, but for the most part, over the vast majority of the Ozarks region, what you're going to find are typically the same group of churches uh, represented, and this has to do with history. It has to do with the people who settled here before the Civil War and the kinds of religious beliefs that they brought with them, the places that they came from. And when you look at uh, the early settlers of the Ozarks, the white settlers that we've talked about, most of them, uh, about uh, roughly 75% of them, uh, who came over before the Civil War fell into either the Methodist or the Baptist group. And, of course, uh, if you know much about Baptists, you know that there are lots and lots of different kinds of Baptists. And Baptists, because Baptists are congregational uh, and they're decentralized for the most part, they often have disagreements with each other and split apart and form new churches where two or more Baptists are gathered in his name, there will be two or more Baptist churches. Uh, that's pretty much the way, the way it goes. Uh, a Methodist, not hardly to that extent, but we'll talk about them as well. But uh, before the Civil War, these were the groups. Uh, numbers, and anytime you talk about religious census numbers, it's always inexact. Uh, the, uh, the Census Bureau at different times in history has tried to count the number of religious adherents to certain denominations in certain churches. Uh, it's an inexact sort of thing because you're relying on people to volunteer and sometimes, and still today, there are churches in the United States that, that really don't want to report their numbers, uh, that you know, don't want to tell the government how many of them there are. Uh, there are some denominations, some churches who count everybody from one day old to 99 plus, uh, and other churches only count people who have been baptized as adults or as have, been, have consented to be baptized into a church. So it's really kind of tricky when you're talking about re religion and census numbers. But what we can say is at the time of the Civil War, uh, roughly uh, just over 40% of religious adherents living in the Ozarks were Methodists. That was the largest single body of uh, religious people in all the Ozarks. Methodists made up just over 40% of the population. Now, keep in mind that uh, at that time, in the years before and up to the Civil War, the majority of people in the Ozarks weren't actively affiliated with any church of any kind. And uh, a lot of times that was just because of how scattered and how small the population was in a, in a certain area. The nearest church might be 20 miles away, and 20 miles away in 1860 was, you know, might as well be 150 miles away today. You know, just it was impractical to attend services. We'll see how some churches got around that. Uh, but of the ones who actually reported membership or affiliation with some kind of religious group, more than 40% of them were Methodists, the most popular group. Uh, about 33, about a third of them, 33% or about a third of, of those reporting some kind of religious affiliation were Baptists. So Methodist and Baptist together, about three out of four 
people living in the Ozarks who had some kind of religious affiliation or preference were either Methodist or Baptist. Still be a pretty good percentage today of people who are Methodist or Baptist. Wouldn't be that high of a percentage. Uh, but but uh, still two very popular denominations in the Ozarks today. Of the remaining 25%, uh, roughly... Roughly uh, 10% of the total, not 10% of the other 25%, but 10% of all the people living in the Ozarks at the time of the Civil War were uh, Presbyterians. And there were different kinds of Presbyterians as well. Probably most of the Presbyterians living in the Ozarks at the time of the Civil War were what we call Cumberland Presbyterians. And there aren't that many Cumberland Presbyterians anymore. There aren't really that many Presbyterians anymore compared to other groups. But uh, the Cumberland Presbyterians were more popular in the Ozarks than, than the regular Presbyterians. And then the, the so-called Christians. And these are uh, groups who, who were often referred to as the Disciples of Christ before the Civil War. Uh, you know, we've got, there's a, a big Disciples of Christ church on... Uh, national. There may be one right next to campus somewhere as, as well. But uh, that's a, there's still a denomination today called the Disciples of Christ. But most of the descendants of these Christians in the Ozarks today are members of the Church of Christ. So if you grew up in a, in a Church of Christ or you know anything about the Church of Christ, most of the people in the Ozarks who come from this tradition are now called Church of Christ. Uh, but they come out of this, this same the same heritage of the, as the disciples of Christ. And usually before the Civil War, they just refer to themselves as Christians. But those, uh, they, and they made up about 6% of the total. So if you add all of those up, all four of these, these main groups, you got over 90% of the people in the Ozarks. If you did the math there, uh, it was about 90 or 91% of all the people uh, in, the, in the Ozark region. Now, we, we talked about the German immigration into the fringes of the Ozarks, the Mississippi Valley, the Missouri Valley. And in fact, uh, we'll see a map in the minute that shows you where most of that settlement was. But those Germans who came to the Ozarks uh, in the years before the Civil War, in the 25 years or so before the Civil War, uh, were generally divided into three groups, uh, Roman Catholics, and uh, probably there, there were more Catholics who came to the Missouri Ozarks probably than the other two groups, uh, the Lutherans and the German Reformed. And, but all three of these were represented on the fringes of the Ozarks, again, in those places where today most people would tell you we don't live in the Ozarks, even though the landscape looks real Ozarky. It's hill, in a lot of these places where the Germans settled, it's hillier than it is here in the Springfield area and looks, looks like the Ozarks. But culturally, uh, they, they may not consider it part of the Ozarks. And a lot of that has to do with, with German heritage, uh, with kind of separating themselves from what they see as the, you know, the, the real Ozarkers, the hillbilly Ozarkers who tend to be Baptist and Methodists. Different. But so you got... You got these groups who make up roughly the other 10% or so of, of religious adherents. 